The cur avoids me in the twilight. Day and night I have no rest to fend him off. That's what the bastard does to me. Whatever I do, he'll beat me. Much worse than salt gives me fast, that child of Judas. Would he go blind in a year? So, I'll just think of all the good times that I enjoyed, have no regrets and no mishaps. I hope my cat will catch a mouse.
Hi, I am Isabel Mester. The recorded ensemble of the Atlanta Montessori International School made this recording of two traditional songs, Go Tell and Rody and Lightly Row. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Jakob van Eyck was a blind bell ringer in Amsterdam in the late 16th and early 17th centuries. Um, he loved to play recorder and he is known for his collection of music that is uh, a, a set of, of themes and variations. Since he was blind, he had a scribe write down these, these variations as he performed them and they have become uh, staple literature for recorder players. I'm going to dedicate this particular performance to Evan Taylor. Evan was a private student of mine uh, quite a number of years ago. Um, Evan performed this piece, Van Gusen, um, at the concert day, the sixth annual concert day in 2001. So he was nine years old at the time. Sadly, Evan passed away in January of this year, 2021, and I feel honored that I can play this piece in his memory.
Hello, I'm Daryl Christopher Payne. I'm here with my friend Trey Clegg. And this morning, or this afternoon, we'll be playing um, El Pastor Fido, uh, which was originally attributed to Antonio Vivaldi, but many scholars today think that it was actually Nicolas de Chedeville, a French composer who lived in Paris in the mid to uh, late 18th century, who actually wrote the piece. Uh, a lot of his work has been described as in the style of Vivaldi, uh, which is why they think it was originally attributed to him. So I will be playing uh, alto recorder, and Trey will be on the organ. And we hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Well, hello there. This lovely bit of fluff comes to us from 18th century France and the pen of Jacques Aubert, entitled Le Moulinet, in English, The Moulinet. It is a musical depiction of a day in the life of a mill wheel. Now, this may not sound like the most exciting thing in the world, but it is French, so there is drama. Things start off well enough in part one, but by the time we get to part two, something has gone wrong. I don't know, maybe the donkey got sick or the stream dried up. They don't tell us. But rest assured, everything turns out fine in the end for no apparent reason. Accompanying me today on the lute guitar, Isabel Meister. Mesdames et Messieurs, Le Moulinet. One, two, one. <laughs>